When your spirit's low and bent in worry or pain, real pain, Jesus will help you breathe and stand up and step forward. That's a transfiguration. There's that word transfiguration. That's a God thing whenever it happens. To be transfigured means to be made into something more beautiful. It doesn't go the other way. The word transfigured always means to be made something more beautiful. That's a God thing. Our beautiful Savior was revealed in that light of glory and divinity and holiness on the top of the mountain. It was awesome, but it was also fearsome and terrifying for the disciples to behold. And Moses and Elijah appeared too in that light, representing the law and the prophets. Remember, Jesus came to fulfill all that was said by the law and the prophets. So as great as Moses and Elijah were, the greater one there was Jesus. They knew, those, those two great men of God knew what it was to be afraid to be in the presence of God. Remember um, Moses at the burning bush and he heard that voice, Moses, take your sandals off, you're standing on holy ground. And it says in Exodus that Moses took his sandals off and he hid his face because he was afraid to look upon God. Elijah was on the run from King Ahab and Queen Jezebel. He was hiding in a cave when the word of the Lord came to him and said, Come out, because the presence of the Lord is going to pass you by. And first there was a great wind that broke branches off of trees. But God wasn't in that. And that was followed by an earthquake where boulders and rocks tumbled down the side of the mountain. God wasn't there. And then came a great fire, but God wasn't in the fire. Finally, there was a gentle whisper, and Elijah came out of the cave, and the presence of the Lord passed by him. We have trouble taking in the glory of God. We can't take it in, can we? All our hymns and Scripture verses and all our words and praise still fall short of trying to describe God and His Son in their glory. We can't take it in. And thinking about that made me realize that there's a second transfiguration in this story. And it's reflected by just a simple statement that Jesus came down the mountain. Came down the mountain with the disciples. And he was transfigured to be that word made flesh. To dwell among us, to be human, and to be approachable and accessible. And that's as important as transfiguration for us to think about. He went down the mountain. He didn't stay up there glowing in that rarefied atmosphere. He wants to walk with us, you and me. Not only walk with us, but all the ones who get shoved aside. Whatever words we apply, illegals, homeless, loser. The Holy One of God sought them out, made himself unclean, touching the lepers, associating with sinners, the people that were forgotten, traveling among Samaritans and worst of all, Gentiles. Jesus was with them too. The Son of God walked down the mountain to walk with you and me all the way to the cross. And that's a walk we begin together now with the season of Lent. And we know that there was another transfiguration because on the cross, Jesus took
transfigures a place of shame and torture and death into a place of glory and salvation and beauty. Yes, even beauty. We're going to sing a closing hymn today that I like. It's, it's an old classic one, Immortal, Invisible, God Only Wise. Here's some of the words um, when I talk about we try to describe God's glory, right? But then there's a line in it that I also like. Um, and it's odd because there's a happy, <laughs> it's like a happy tune underneath the words that you're going to sing. And um, I have a little bit of a cold, but anyway, um, here it goes. Um, we. <laughs> Aaron, I need to know. We blossom and flourish as leaves on a tree, and wither and perish, but not changeth thee. See the happy tune, and what was I singing about? <laughs> First of all, I like to sing old hymns because we get to say stuff like, but not changeth thee. But what's so happy about the fact that we wither and perish like leaves on a tree? Well, I think that's, that I have to know that. That's very important for me to know. A lot hinges on me knowing that. Just as a lot hinges in that wonderful hymn, about God's imperishability and that he'll embrace me in that and his imperishability is mine through Jesus and he will transfigure me and you one day into that finally I was just thinking about other transfiguring moments See, there's lots of transfiguring going on. I mean, Jesus is with us. We're in his kingdom, so you've got to expect to see this happening. And with eyes of faith, we do. We see the miracles. Our eyes trained in faith can see miracles and transfiguring moments all the time. Like, like when you're mad at somebody and you have the impulse to come down on them like a ton of bricks. You're so mad. But you take a breath, and the Holy Spirit's in that breath, and instead you give grace. Kids, teens, everyone, when you forgive, that's a transfiguring moment. When you invest your time, your talent, and what the world calls foolish. Glory in that. When you eschew the bad stuff in our culture. So what if everybody's chasing after it? Glory in that. In being different. And you have to be real different from our culture these days. Be willing to be changed to not insist on having your way be the way. Jesus emptied himself, even though he was God, became human and became as a slave, even to the point of serving us on the cross. And when these changes happen in you because of the love of Christ for you, God is turning you into someone more beautiful. A loving, forgiving, grace-filled, light-shining presence here. So that's transfiguration. May our eyes be open this week to that. Jesus is God's living message to us. He says, listen to him. And in Jesus, he says, I love you. And I love the whole world. So you go and try to do that too. So we're going to um, 
finish our series by listening to a song now. And the words are printed in our bulletin. I would just say, let's sing, the, let's sing along the refrain. It goes, would you take the place of this man? I thought it was a good Jeremy Camp song for um, this Transfiguration Sunday and as we head into Lent. All right.